everyone, welcome to our next lesson. This one is called Merry-Go-Round Self-Expression Lesson. And these are the materials you're gonna need. This is gonna be video one of four. I'm breaking this up into small chunks so that um, we are successful with each step. So you're gonna need a pencil, an eraser. You're gonna need your drawing aid of the horses. And you're going to need a warm-up paper. This one right here, just a, um, a piece of copy paper. Press pause, go get the materials, come on back, and we will be ready to start. Okay, Sammy is here with me. Hello, Sammy. Hi. He has his workstation all ready to go. Would you like to go over what we need to keep in mind in order to have, to yeah, have a positive mindset? Yeah, always try mindset? your best. If you get frustrated, take a deep breath, count to 10. Um, take a deep breath, try it again. Everyone's art is unique. It will turn out differently. Your art is uniquely yours, and then art is not perfect. Okay, awesome, thank you, Sammy. All right, so you have your drawing aid, pencil, eraser, and your um, warm-up paper. I'm gonna put my drawing aid off to the side, and I'm gonna give you some images that um, I'd like to be put in Google Classroom for you to have some inspiration. And I'm Here's, gonna go- We'll be on Google Classroom, so you don't have to pay attention for this part. Oh, you do have to pay attention, though. But it's, this will be on Google Classroom, so. Uh, yeah, but it's good to pay attention at all times to whomever is speaking to you. All right, so I'm going to show you some images of some um, carousel, uh, uh, some merry-go-rounds, okay? So here's a close-up of a merry-go-round with just a couple of the horses in a row. Here's another one. And when you're looking at these, I want you to look at the details the colors and the expressions on the horses faces all the different ways that the horses are decorated this one's a really simple one very very simple very simple this one is facing the other direction okay if you look at the saddle and the colors very beautiful there here's a very ornately decorated one i feel like that's a picture this is a picture of a real image of a, of a merry-go-round. And here's one that is no longer on the actual merry-go-round. It's uh, That looks like someone took a picture of it. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. That one's been removed from the merry-go-round. This is, this is a drawing. Mind you, this is what we are going to be aiming for. We're going to be drawing a picture of a horse from a merry-go-round, a single horse. And the horse is going to have a pole uh, going through it, just like a merry-go-round would. And this is a horse facing the other direction. These are just drawing images. The next set of images are uh, paintings, because after we draw, we are going to watercolor and add paint to our horse, our pole, and our background. So. That's a great example right there. This one is facing to the um, left, and then this one is gonna be facing to the right. Here's another one, painted one. Notice the horse's legs, they're in, they look like they're in movement. And this is the last one. I particularly uh, was drawn to this image because of the background being uh, a bunch of different colors in kind of a haphazard way. And this horse has its head up and its mouth open. Like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pass these off to Sam for inspiration for him during the lesson. You have access to this through Google Classroom. So there you go, Sam. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a directed drawing lesson after I give you a little bit of um, history, I guess you would you could say, about merry-go-rounds, okay? So, between 1980 and 1930, excuse me, 1880 and 1930, craftsmanship and artistry were combined to create merry-go-round horses. Old merry-go-rounds were made of beautifully handcrafted horses prancing and flying around with manes that were either flying up in the wind, whisking up, or laying um, on, on their backs. Um, Merry-go-rounds also include other animals such as lions and uh, even frogs and a variety of other different types of animals. Um, I'm sure you have all ridden a merry-go-round or have seen one. Sam, what about you? Have you ridden a merry-go-round? 
Yeah. Have you seen a Mary Has a Land? <laughs> yes. We have all either ridden one or we've seen one, whether it was, it, whether it's a merry-go-round that you've seen in real life, whether it's one that you've seen a picture of or in a movie. Or the one that you just showed. Or the one that I just showed you. Yeah. Um, it, it, it is through that merry go um, it, it, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so merry-go-rounds were actually invented because they imitated what was called the carousel. And the carousel was a sports contest back in the Middle Ages in Europe what? where yeah, where knights riding on horseback would race and compete against each other. So that was called a carousel. So a synonym for merry-go-round is carousel. You might hear that word instead. Okay, so it actually comes, it was created from that sport. I'm gonna put an image up so that you're not just staring at a white piece of paper. All right, so um, the key thing to remember is that merry-go-rounds are extremely decorated and the, um, the horses and the other animals included, they're all in different positions that look as though they're in movement. And obviously when you're riding the merry-go-round, it's going up and down and going around in a circle. So there's a lot of movement going around, going on. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing an image of a, mer of a single horse of a merry-go-round, okay? So you need to decide, is your horse gonna be having his front, both legs up, one leg up, is his back, or, or is the horse's back legs gonna be in movement as well, or are they gonna be stationary? Is your horse's head gonna be down or up or in the middle? You get to decide all of this. So. Think about how you want your horse to uh, look as though it's in action. And we are gonna go ahead and get started with sketching out our um, warm up. So here are our drawing aids. All right, everyone has their drawing aids and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work together and we're just gonna sketch. A rough sketch means that you know, we're not going for like perfection. Oh, Never are we really going for perfection, no. right? But we're, this is gonna be, this is called a quick sketch. So we're not worried about a ton of erasing. We are just focused on the concept, working on the concept of creating a horse. Now, um, Sammy has done this before, not, not this, but what I'm about to tell you, where you use circles in order to create the shape of the body and then you use contour lines to bring the circles together. Okay, so this is what I mean. So if you look at a horse here, there's a circle, circular part here in the hind, there's a circular part here in the chest, there's a circular part here in the head, and in the joints there are tiny little circles. So we're gonna make those circles first. So we're gonna do the hind circle first. So go ahead on your warm-up paper, just sketch or draw a circle in the back. Okay, then we're gonna do my horse, I'm gonna have my horse kind of up in the air. So I want you to be thinking that about that too. How's your horse gonna be positioned? So my circle in the hind, it is, um, yes, this, this video is just the one of many. Okay, so my circle in the, in the back is gonna be lower because my chest is gonna be higher. So I'm gonna make my circle for the chest come out a little bit more up over to the other side of the paper and a little higher up. So that's gonna be my chest. Remember, just a rough sketch. Then I'm gonna do my circle for my head up here. And I might need to adjust my circles as I'm drawing, and that's okay. And then I'm gonna do um, two circles for the back leg, um, uh, the, the, from the upper part of the back leg and then two circles over here for the lower part of the back leg. And then some circles over here for the upper part of my front legs and some circles down here for the lower part of my back leg. Or front leg, pardon me. Okay, so we've done our circles. Can you kind of look at these circles, Sammy, and visualize doing the contour lines of a horse in order to create an image of a horse? Uh, weird. What do you mean by weird? I gotta adjust the head. Oh, you're gonna adjust the head, okay. I should be drawing a little bit darker so you can see. But can you see, if you if you look at it, could you kind of imagine doing the contour lines mm -hmm. to create a horse? Yeah. 
Exactly, that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Okay, Sammy's like kind of, you know, roughly sketching it. So let's start with that. I'm gonna start with the back here. You can kind of decide what you're most comfortable starting with, okay? So we can do, I'm gonna come up here to the, the, the circle that's uh, the chest area of the horse. And I'm gonna come up and just kind of go around it and do the hind of my horse. So I should do it a little bit darker so you can see. Okay? And then I'm gonna, I can add my tail. I can do like a bushy tail like that. Just, I'm just sketching right now because next video we're gonna actually do this on our master piece of paper. Okay? Then I'm gonna kinda come to the bottom of the horse and I'm gonna kick that first back leg out. And it's gonna go around that circle. That's the top uh, of the leg. And then I can come down to the other circle and that's the bottom of the leg. And I can come back up like that. And I can give my horse a hoof here. Okay, and then I can come up and I know that this is gonna be my other leg. But if I'd like to right now, I might just do the underbelly like that. And then I can kick my back leg in behind it. So I can come like this and down like this and they can kind of be running <sighs> perpendicular. Not perpendicular, excuse me, parallel. I'm bad with animals. Oh, we gotta have positive self-talk. We're just trying our best. No, I, I, liter I literally am bad with animals. They Why do you think? They're to attack me. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, so Sammy, see here, see those circles? Those are actually those are actually the joints, so it actually comes down a little bit more like this. Okay, if you look if you look here, it's this it would be this right here. Okay, and then you can add add the horse's hooves. So um, those are just kind of where the joints of the legs bend. And then I have my my underbelly right here, and then I can I, I think I, I, my choice right now. I think I am gonna go ahead and come on up and do the um, the uh, back part of the neck and the head. So I can come up here and do the neck and, and have it kind of come up and around that top head circle. Then I can have it come down. And remember, this is just rough sketching. We can clean it up. Here's the head, we can clean it up as we're going along. And the this is the big jaw of the horse. I'm feeling like mine's looking more like a um, dinosaur. <laughs> That's okay, I will clean it up. Okay, so then it's gonna, his neck is gonna come down and I'm gonna come around to this circle. I'm gonna give it the chest here. And then I can add the, the, the mane, the hair that kind of comes down the horse's back. Okay, here's the mane that comes down the horse's back. And then I can come up here and I'm, I'm looking at my belly and I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, it's coming up here. I might wanna make it a little bit bigger this way. And then here are my, my front legs. Whoa. That looks beautiful. Here are my front legs. So I, I think I'm gonna readjust these circles a little bit. So the great thing about sketching is if you do it really lightly, you can erase if you need to. Okay, so now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna kick the first front leg out. So there's the leg and he, this horse right here is in movement. Okay, so here's the, the bending of the front leg and then the bending again. And I might need to move that circle a little bit. You can pause the video at any time. If you get frustrated, you just take a deep breath and you take a break, walk away, come back and try it again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep uh, doing this, this leg right here. This one comes out and around like this and then I'm gonna give it a hoof, okay? We are just practicing. I'm gonna move that circle again. All right, so now I can do the leg that's behind. 
and it can be running as a galloping as well up in the air and then coming out like that okay so my horse is running I can add a saddle to it like this because someone usually rides the carousel right and then so this is my rough rough sketch okay so knowing that we've practiced and done this before will give us confidence when we get our bigger piece of paper out to actually do our composition okay we're just drawing and sketching um if you'd like when you're done with this video if you're feeling like oh man i really want to work on the head or i really want to work on the body you can either flip your paper over and do it in another one watch the video again or you can use your pen your eraser and you can start kind of working the areas that you want to um, make a little bit better and you're if, if you're not satisfied okay so for instance I'm looking at my horse's belly and I feel like my horse looks a little bit on the pregnant side so I want to make this the tummy a little bit more lean so I can come over here and I can bring the leg in more and I can kind of make his or her belly a little bit more lean, lean looking. So then I can fix the legs here and have this leg come up like this, come down, okay? I can add, I can start adding some details of, for instance, the saddle. I can add a strap coming down. I can start just kind of thinking about how I want to decorate my um, my individual horse from my uh, for my merry-go-round. Okay. If you'd like to erase the circles, you can go ahead and erase the circles. Get rid of those. If you want to keep them as part of uh, the 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 way you're going to decorate your horse. And design you can keep them as well it's really up to you so I can erase them so I'm erasing these three okay and then I can just kind of start thinking about like hmm what kind of what kind of decor do I want my horse to have so the drawing aids have a lot of great ideas for the way that you can make your horse look really decorative uh, you can go simple, you can go complex, but just remember that the following video after we actually draw our horse, we're going to be watercoloring. And once we're done watercoloring and it's dried, the video after that is going to be um, sharpening the detail. Okay? So if you're going to be doing really, really fine detail, I want you to think about that. Or you might choose to opt out of doing the Sharpie if your details are, are on the fine side. So some options there. So um, like I said, this is just a rough sketch. From here, you can go ahead and start um, adding any other detail you want to add, making the, the rest of the, the saddle, creating the rest of the saddle. Come down like this. You can have... Um, a little more of a lip in the back. Um, you can um, decorate around the horse. You can add um, some straps going, going down like this, and then you can add simple shapes inside. You can do patterns. I just did a diamond circle, diamond circle there. So you can start thinking about how you want to design. You can leave a circle or two or all of them and you can make them part of your, Wait, are we the way you de to, decorate Are we supposed to put the hole, uh, the pole? Yeah, the pole is going to go, um, I'm going to do the pole next actually. You've just read my mind. So I just use the circle and I'm going to keep the circle there and I can put a pattern in it if I'd like. I can do a, a cross line coming down like this. And I can go across like this and then in each of those quadrants I could do something you know I could I could just do an extra shape inside 
Okay? So there I kept my circle. That's an option. Okay. Wait, do we have the poll? So yeah, so that's the last thing I'm going to do before we sign off here. I'm going to give you uh, time between now and the next video to think about how you want to decorate your horse. Like I said, you could flip your paper over and you can do the um, a, a, a totally different horse on the other side. This is just practice. So look, if I'm doing my pull, we're going to start up here. You can have your pull go off the paper. You can have your pull, if you like, you can have your pull stop and you can put a little ball at the top and then have your pole go to all the way down use your eyes to measure you can have your pole come all the way down and go off the paper down here your choice or if you don't want it to go off you can have a flat surface you can do a, a ground right here and then you can do real fun little like spir spiraling um, lines that that make it look like it's spiral spiraling around just little u-shaped lines okay so this was just our warm-up our rough sketch uh feel free to keep practicing working on it um i want you to keep in mind um you, we are going to be transferring this skill of creating and drawing a horse um to our larger piece of construction paper for the next video and um what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you keep your drawing aid. There's both sides, right? And I want you to make sure to keep your warm up and bring it back with you for video number two when we actually draw our horse. So either paper clip these back together, put them in wherever you put your art supplies and um, just make sure that it's in a safe spot. And then we will see you for the next video where we draw our um, actual composition on our large piece of construction paper. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you for video number two.